I'm Brandon House. Welcome to WVW Broadcast Network Economic Update. Joining us again is Michael Weiner. Hey, today, folks, you're going to hear about how some of you, some of you are being locked out of your money. This is what we warned you about in our last broadcast. In our last broadcast, we did the whole show pretty much on, are you going to be locked out of your money, out of your accounts? Or will you be locked down, is a better way of putting it, into their system? Or will you have some of your assets outside of the system controlled by the elite? Uh, that's the question. And what's so interesting is now we have documented proof that some of you that have been working with Wes Peters and Michael Weiner have had a really hard time getting your money. Joining me now to talk about that as well as what will be your new financial reality as the USA and the world reopen. Uh, we'll deal with what is the new meaning of true liquidity. Uh, how about this? IRA retirement accounts, the new target for government takeover. Ooh, you mean maybe they'll give you a IOU and then take your money? That has actually been talked about for several years. We've warned about that for a long time. How about how to act versus react to the upcoming USA elections? Joining me now is Michael Weiner. Mike, welcome back to the program. Thank you for joining us for this WVW Broadcast Network financial update. Thank you for having me, Brandon. Well, uh, Wes sent me this the other day. Let me just read these notes. March 23rd, 2020, spent 33 minutes on the phone with client and his current custodian, financial custodian. We called to liquidate $15,000. We were informed that since the client did not know his PIN number, a new PIN number would need to be mailed to him and it should arrive within 10 business days. This is even after he verified name, date of birth, social security number, address, and phone number. That was March 23rd, 2020. Next update, April 16th, 2020. Spent 50 minutes, 5-0, 50 minutes on the phone with client and current custodian. After providing new PIN, we proceeded to liquidate the $15,000 from his account and we're told a check should arrive within 10 business days, or so we thought. Next update, April 29th, 2020, client called me and said he received paperwork from current custodian that needs to be signed by his spouse as well as notarized. His wife is in quarantine at a nursing home, so that's a challenge. We called his current custodian and spent over an hour on the phone. The majority of the time we were on hold waiting for the manager. While we were waiting, my client said, maybe we should forget about this, Wes. My response to him was, if you give up, they win and they've accomplished exactly what they want. They keep your money. When the manager finally came on the line, I asked him why on April 16th, we were led to believe that the liquidation was complete and we should expect a check in the mail within 10 business days. All he could do was apologize and say he wasn't sure because this plan requires a notarized signature from the spouse. My second question was why didn't anyone call the client and tell him a mistake was made, that the account is not being liquidated and we're sending you some paperwork that needs to be signed and notarized. His response was, well, did he receive the paperwork in the mail? Luckily, my client does a better job of going through his mail than, than uh, Wes says he does. Now, here we are over a month into the process trying to figure out a way to get a signature and notary. I let the manager know that I currently have two clients dealing with their company and both of them are having a real challenge getting their money. I have another client who after a month finally got their money last week after threatening to file a complaint with the SEC and FINRA. These are financial organizations. Well, there you go, folks. Again, our last show was telling you how you need to be very aware of, well, how hard it might be to get your money and why you might want to consider being outside of the system for lockdowns. Michael Weiner, comment on this sad scenario that went from, April, from March 23rd to past April 29th, because the last time I heard they were still waiting on the money. It, it, it is a new norm. And what, what it's not been mentioned in there is what about the banks? Try going to your bank and nonchalantly taking money out. Try going to your bank like we used to 25 years ago or 15 years ago and depositing $500 cash in there and ha not having them ask for your driver's license. They are closing in on controlling the flow of money and where you spend it. It's not only an idea of controlling your money, it's an idea of controlling where you spend it. That's why they're talking about going to a digital currency. 
Right now, if you go over and you sit down at a, at a restaurant, you buy a dinner, you might spend $500 on that dinner. It's your business. It's your $500 out of your pocket that you paid cash. When you have to use a U.S. credit card to sit back and buy bubble gum, they're going to know when you buy a five-cent pack of gum, a $2 cup of coffee, which probably now is $5, and more importantly, when you need your money, they will decide when you will get it. Just like in Europe right now, Brandon, bail-in, which we talk about existing in Greece and Cyprus and other nations in Europe around the world, is it existing in the United States. It's approved to Dodd-Frank's, and it empowers the government under the auspices of exactly what we're dealing with right here is we're going to take care of you. We're going to protect you. We're going to keep you safe, that they're going to protect your money, and they will then decide how they dole it out. Just like right now, like in Michigan, if you want to go nonchalantly and literally cut your lawn, you're not supposed to. If you want to go outside in your backyard and smell your beautiful flowers, you're not supposed to. That's what our founders and forefathers left Europe for and other parts of the world, for pursuit of happiness on their own. Could you imagine somebody dictating to us, if you wanted to go west in the 1860s, that, wait a minute, you can't go, there's Indians out there. You, in the past, they would say, hey, wait a minute, that's my problem. I'll deal with it. It's my right. Now we have people telling us, you can't go there, you shouldn't go there, and you're not allowed to go there. They're elected officials, and these same elected officials control our money, and they can legitimately, these same companies that are in cahoots with them, be it the banks that are globalists, be it the insurance companies under the auspice, there's a, a, a big black hole, annuities. Annuities are nothing more than giving the uh, insurance company, which is not backed by anything, a capability of holding your money for an undocumented period of time and charging you a penalty for many years just to try to get it if you, got, if you for any reason need it. And then they literally, when you come for your money, if it's a securities firm or an insurance company or even a bank, they play every type of game possible before they finally give it to you. And this, in effect, is what people are experiencing now. And Brandon, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Absolutely, it's going to get worse. And my guest is Michael Weiner with Swiss America. Now, we do not give financial advice, but we do give financial opinion. But you need to do your own due diligence on what's going on. If you want to um, be outside the system, uh, something I've done since 1993, and if you want to be outside the system, you can do that by getting some free information to start with. That's the key. Swiss America is about education. They want you to be an educated client. So first, they ask that you request the information, do the reading, and then ask the questions, and then make a purchase if that's what you choose to do. The key is education. To get free information, 602-485-3362, area code 602-485-3362. I'll give it again, area code 602. That's area code 602. 485-3362. Now be sure to ask for Michael Weiner or Wes Peters. If someone else picks up the phone, you need to specifically say, I'm calling for Michael Weiner or Wes Peters. They handle all of our WVW Broadcast Network inquiries. They have been working with us for many, many years. And the president of Swiss America, Craig Smith, is a close personal friend. I met him and got to know him many, many years ago through a mutual friend, Michael Reagan. And, and uh, Craig and I are still very good friends and communicate often. So I know about this company. I've done business with this company. I have been pre purchasing precious metals since 1993. Uh, we're not talking about you putting 50% of your assets into that. We're talking maybe 5 to 10, 15%, depending on your situation. Everybody's situation is different. That's why it's so crucial you get the free information and then talk with Wes and talk with Mike so you do what is in your best interest. But you're in the driver's seat, but first you need to get educated. That's why we recommend the free information that they're offering, a packet of free, no-obligation information, 602 
605-385-3362. Now, let's talk about um, what will the new financial reality be as the USA reopens. I mean, there's been talk of negative interest rates. Deutsche Bank, one of the biggest banks in the world, is talking negative interest rates. Uh, Yellen, the former Treasury or uh, uh, Federal Reserve president, you know, she's not now, but she at one point was talking negative interest rates. Tell me what this new financial reality is going to look like going forward. Well, first of all, there's a lot of situations going to be changing as far as currencies. That's the big issue. One of the things that people look at right now, they looked at the old world and they said, well, wait a minute, the stock market goes up, gold should be going down. Well, over the last three years under Donald Trump, the stock market went soaring up and the gold market went soaring up. And people will say, well, why is gold going up while the stock market is, is going up? And the reality is very simple. It has nothing to do with the stock market anymore. It has to do with the fact of one simple thing, and that is currencies. When you see the stock market go up, you also see the currencies go down, the dollar strengthens, and gold goes up. So right now, what you need to be looking at is other places in the world are in financial disasters. The European Union, probably one of the top three economies in the world, is a train wreck. Like you're talking about Germany right now, Bank of Austria, other major banks use credit liens. They used to be star-studded banks and they all do, are in negative interest rates right now. So is the Bank of Scotland, negative interest rates right now. That's why President Trump is embracing negative interest rates right now. It's a good starter to the economy. But when you have negative interest rates, your currencies devalue. And we're going to go to a currency that is going to be non-paper. It's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. And you can either be ahead of the curve on it or behind it, which is something we'll get into later. But understand the fact this isn't a game right now. The other places in the world are looking and weaponizing gold. Gold is being used as money again. China is demanding payment most of the time in gold. So is Russia. So is India. And they're looking at ways to make it part of their currency to weaponize their currency. And what I mean by weaponize is if their currency is backed by gold and our currency is backed by paper, whose currency is stronger? Theirs. So at the end of the day, President Trump is aware of it. I believe we'll have people running around right now saying, well, we're going to be going to be backed by gold again in the United States. That's impossible unless we price gold at like $50,000 an ounce. We don't have the money. The price of gold has to be proportionate to the amount of currency that's out there. So I think President Trump will do anywhere possibly between 3 to 5%. But the price that will be valued of gold in the future could be anywhere from $2,500 to $3,500 an ounce. Gold is legitimately going to where it used to be years ago as part of the financial system of the world. And if you do not pay attention to the new financial realities, and if all you're going to do is look at the stock market and say, that's my baby, you're wrong. Because you're not going to be carrying a wallet in there that has room for currency anymore. You're going to have a wallet in there that has room for another credit card, and it'll be your U.S. debit card. That's how it's going to work. Wow. Okay, Wes, let's, I mean, uh, Michael, let's talk about IRAs. We have a audience that tends to be a little bit of an older audience, um, which I'm 51, so I'm headed in that same direction as well. But we have a lot of folks that are retired or nearing retirement, which I love that demographic that I have actually, because I can tell through Google Analytics and whatnot what my demographic is. Um, I love the fact that I have an older audience because they're very educated, they're thinkers, they have a lot of wisdom, um, they're readers, they're, they're, they're intelligent people. And I love educating or giving information to educated people. It just makes my life easier. I get good feedback. They know what I'm saying to be true. It's just, it's just a great thing. So I know my demographic. My demographic is an older middle to upper class audience largely. Uh, I mean, there are people who are not affluent, um, who are younger and just starting out as well. But I know that I have a very large audience of middle to upper class people who are nearing retirement or are retired. Now, I mention all that because 
for them, I want you to provide them with what we do here. That is education. That's all we're doing here is education. What people do with their money is their business, but we want them making educated decisions based on their own due diligence. So we provide a service in many regards, and one of them is simply education. So let's talk about the IRA retirement accounts because a lot of folks don't know they can do some diversification with their IRA retirement accounts. They also maybe don't know that, as we've reported for a few years now, there's been open talk of rating the IRA retirement accounts of Americans, the government rating it and giving them paper IOUs, correct? Absolutely. And that was actually started literally by a guy by the name of Barack Obama. Back in 2012, he was pushing to nationalize the, go these, the, uh, the uh, retirement program for a couple of reasons. First of all, Democrats are the party that have been bilking into the retirement plans of the large unions and their pension plans. They've been investing and supporting Democratic elections for many, many years, and this money has been being siphoned out of their out of their rank and files monies and now they're finding that their money is short and they used to be guaranteed by the pension guarantee trust which is the arm of the united states government that guarantees retirement funds guess what they're almost 50 percent or more underfunded there isn't the money there now obama wanted to sit back and say to mr and mrs america hey guess what we're going to take care of you and you're experiencing this, we're gonna take care of you right now that the American people are reacting to so harshly. They are gonna help us. They're gonna protect us. So they're gonna sit back and say to you, okay, you've got a half a million dollars in your retirement plan, but we're gonna sit back and we're gonna take that over and we're gonna put it into the government retirement program. And we're gonna issue you credit into your social security account. So instead of getting $3,000 a month, you're going to get $5,000 a month. But guess what? You no longer have a retirement plan. You no longer have access to it. You no longer have beneficiary benefits that you did before. It's gone. And if the government does what it's done with our Social Security, what happens? They spend it. They borrow each week to refund Social Security. They'll take that money, pay the national debt, and I guess if Joe Biden gets elected, we'll be looking at the new green deal with the girl who can't even spell green, AOC. So at the end of the day here, they're looking very heavily at retirement plans because there's 30 to $50 trillion in retirement plans in the United States. If they soak that money up, they can supposedly pay the debt and fund their own frivolities and all in the spirit of protecting us. This is not a game. It's on the table. They salivate at it. Right now, it, they literally are talking about it they, every single day. And Nancy Pelosi has brought it up many, many times. And right now, you have the capability of moving your retirement plan into something a guy created in 1986. The gentleman's name, you might have heard of him, was Don, President Ronald Reagan. In 1984, he went to Congress. It took him two years to get the United States Gold IRA program in effect. And when he put it into effect, he put it in effect for one reason. He wanted American citizens to own something in a retirement plan that the government did not have a gateway to get. He wanted American citizens to own something that was not controlled by the government. And his statement at the United States Mint when it opened was very simple. I want Americans to have an asset that is not paper driven that we can get our hands on, but they physically control. And that's where the gold IRA program has been around for 34 years, since 1986. It's a wonderful program <coughs> and it's the only physical asset that is considered a monetary instrument, which gold is, that you can have. The problem is, is that the brokerage firms don't like it. Why don't they like it? Because when you sell somebody gold in an IRA, Brandon, it's a one-time sale. You don't make ongoing residual income. You don't get money under management. It's a buy and sell operation. 
<clears throat> and so when we sit back with people and try to convert their retirement plans, their brokers go nuts because they're taking money out of their hands. If they have a half a million dollars there, not only did they make the commission when they sold it, but they're making commissions ongoing under money under management back door. You don't do that with a gold IRA. And if the government tries to grab up retirement plans, paper assets they can grab up in this country, ladies and gentlemen, with a snap of their finger. All they have to do is shut down the wire, the, the Federal Reserve wire lines, and it's over with. You can't cash a check. You can't negotiate money. You can't cash a stock. You can't do anything. But if you own physical gold and silver, they cannot snap a finger and grab it. They've got to go through a process which gives you a capability of getting liquid and having a choice. Exactly what President Reagan talked about. And if you are foolish enough to sit back and think it's not possible, look at your Social Security account and good luck of going to the Social Security Department and finding out how much money you have. And by the way, in closing, I'll say this. The United States government last year in Congress passed a bill called the SECURE Act. The SECURE Act empowers the federal government to have changed the entire landscape on retirement plans, where you before were able to give it to your family and let them be a beneficiary, and they had a lifetime to deal with it. They've taken a lifetime and encapsulated it within 10 years. To whose benefit? The government's benefit. So it's you can you can literally go online, ladies and gentlemen, and Google it. The Secure Act. The Wall Street Journal wrote an article on it, and when they wrote the article, they called it "The Government Is Coming for Your Retirement Plan." Last year, m several months ago, this article was written, and if you want a copy of it, feel free to call us up, Wes or myself, and I'll send it to you. But I recommend that you read it on an empty stomach. Period. So let me make sure our listeners understand this. You can take the money that's in your current IRA retirement account. If you can get past your manager, who your money manager, your financial planner, who's probably not going to want you to do this for the obvious reasons you just stated, then you're going to have to go through all the rigmarole of what we just heard from Wes, his client. And again, his own uh, the custodian was standing in the way of him trying to get to his own $15,000. So again, if this doesn't show you what they can do to lock you down and lock you out, uh, you better pay attention, I think. But if you can get through that, and you guys will help them get through that, they then take that IRA money and they diversify it into a certain percentage of precious metals. Is that precious metals on paper or are they required to actually have it with a serial number and everything in physical metals stored somewhere? They have to have it physically. This is not a paper asset. This is on a shelf in your name. It's nobody else has access to it. Anytime you want, you can pick it up if you want to. You can have it shipped to you if you want to. You can sell all of it, part of it, but it is not a piece of paper. It's an actual physical asset. The reason why you cannot take delivery of gold in an IRA is real interesting, Brandon, because it's the only cash asset that, uh, you know, uh, 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 only cash asset that the United States government views as money. The U.S. Treasury Department views gold as money. And that's why they don't want you to take delivery of it, because if they do, they figure you can use it and negotiate it. So it goes to an approved depository, or it's stored and insured in your name on a shelf. You can take delivery of it, you can sell all of it or part of it, but it is not a piece of paper. Your stockbroker wants to sell you an ETF, wants to sell you a piece of a stock, a gold mine, and all you're doing at that point, ladies and gentlemen, is betting on the price. You have accomplished nothing. You do not own a gold IRA. You own a piece of paper. And if the music stops, they're not gonna get it, right? Absolutely. They can lock you out of your bank account, your stock account, your annuity, and your currency, it's faster than I say one. All they do is hit a computer button and everything freezes. You're done. But they cannot lock a liquid asset like gold up. They have to come get it. And so what you're saying is, and I know of a guy that's done this, he put gold and silver in his IRA. It was put into this depository on a shelf with his name, 
I think it's stamped with serial numbers that he can even identify. And then he can turn around and, and he did. He went ahead and paid the taxes and had that shipped to him. And it shows up with those very serial numbers, correct? Correct. But also when it's on the shelf there, it's stored in it and insured. And the insurance that we recommend is through Lloyd's of London. It's part of the package. It's very, very, very inexpensive. And uh, at the end of the day, Lloyd's of London is the largest reinsurer in the world, and they're a British company. So it uh, you know, couldn't be better. They insure the Saudi oil wells. So realistically, uh, it's the smartest way that you can move forward if you're concerned about any type of governmental intervention. And if anything has been a measure of up-and-coming attractions in this country, if anything has been a measure of what we're looking at in the future is what we are living with today. We have people like the governor of Michigan who is like an empress telling people they can't go to the ice cream store, they can't cut their lawn, they can't go and legitimately go outside and, take, and, and ride their bike without her permission. Where was that in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, just right to pursue happiness? Where was that when we have a governor in New Jersey who tries to use the name of God when he sits back and talks about protecting his people? He's not up there. He works for you. You don't work for him. Where is that when you have a gal like AOC who can't even spell the word encyclopedia trying to dictate to us how the energy in this country is working? And how does it work when you have a guy like Joe Biden who doesn't even recognize his wife? I guess they can put up their... Uh, a 12 year old and he's liable to think it's his wife because he has no clue what's going on and they're running for him for president this is all happening right around you and if that doesn't give you a wake-up signal that your ira is at risk or other things are at risk right now and the need to have assets that you control within your portfolio not as a solution but as an anchor an enhancement a security blanket to wrap around you in times like this until we get through this. And we're gonna have to get through this. That's why this election coming up is the most important one in US history. Absolutely, 602-485-3362 to get the free information. Be sure that you, um, if you make a phone call there, ask for Wes Peters or Michael Weiner. They are the ones assigned to deal with all of our WVW Broadcast Network uh, folks. The president, an owner and founder of Swiss America, who you sometimes have seen many, many times on with Neil Cavuto on Fox Business, uh, he, he and I again became friends through Michael Reagan, and he said, "Look, I'm going to put you with two guys. Wes is a former Marine. Michael has a uh, law degree and is a guy that's been in the financial world for years. And he said, "These are the two guys I want to handle all of the WVW Broadcast Network people." And that's what's been going on for many years. So be sure to ask for Wes Peters or Michael Weiner, 602-485-3362. 602-485-3362. You know, in all the years that we've worked with them, we've had really, really, really happy people. I mean, they know they can email me, they can email my wife, text my wife. So if we had upset customers, we would know it. Uh, but our people are very, very happy. And one reason why is because they get the information and do their own due diligence and they know what they're doing. Uh, again, we don't give financial uh, advice. We give financial opinion. We require them to do their own due diligence. That's why we offer the free information through Swiss America. So they're making purchases based on education. That's why you don't have a lot of unhappy people because they knew exactly what it was they were doing and buying. And many of them are in it for the long haul, which we recommend that you buy in for at least a five year period. And if you don't have the stomach for that, then this is not for you. If you are looking to make money on this, this is not for you. This is not about making money. This is not about watching the price go up, go down, go up, go down. This is about putting a percentage of your assets in a hard asset, real money, and it's wealth insurance. Look, I started buying in 1993. Then I watched the price go down uh, like I think by a hundred bucks an ounce under George W. I didn't think about it. I bought it as a hedge against inflation and as a insurance policy against catastrophe. So what did I care what the price was? The price doesn't affect you unless you're buying. I, I venture guess most of you don't sit and watch 
the price of your house. Is it going up? Is it going down? And check that price every day. You don't check the value of your house every day because it doesn't matter unless you're going to go sell it. So you have to have the right mindset for why you're doing this. And if you're doing it for the wrong reasons or you don't understand it, then don't do it. If you say, hey, I want to understand it because I do want to be diversified. They have locked me out of going to the store. They've locked me out of going to church. They've locked me out of the gun store, the ammo store, the firing range. Folks, what, do you, what makes you think these same group of dictators won't lock you out of your own bank accounts and IRA accounts? Question mark. So again, do you want to be outside their system or not? You want to be under their thumb or not? It's up to you. But here's how to get the free information. 602-485-3362. 602-485-3362. Now, uh, I have uh, dealt with Swiss America enough to know that there was a time where I wanted to purchase something, another investment. And I called up Wes and I said, Wes, I want you to look at my portfolio. These are, this is what I want to cash in. And uh, you know what happened, folks? Got it to Wes, the metals, and I had a check within 48 hours. It was that liquid, that liquid. And I was able to move it into another hard asset. So my friends, I know this company. They've not missed a buyback in 40 years. I know reality is it's very liquid. It's just a matter of calling them up, telling them how much you need to cash out, work with them on what you're gonna send back, send it a certified registered mail, they track it, it's insured, within 48 hours you can have a check overnighted back to you. I've done it, I know it works, I've done the system, I've checked the system and I know it actually works. And you've not missed a buyback in 40 years, right, Mike? That is correct. Uh, so 602-485-3362. One of the things I want to ask you about is, maybe again for those who don't understand it, bullion versus what is called newsmatic. Newsmatic is 1933 or earlier, correct? Correct. Newsmatic, folks, uh, if you get into the MS-64, MS-65, all what, what goes up to, what does it go up to, 70? What's it go up to? 70, which is considered to be a proof. And that is like collecting fine art. That's not it's something like that, a, that's it's like not, a VVS or flawless diamond. Yeah, that's not something that most people need to do. So um, uh, MS 62s, MS 63s, these are ratings, meaning that they're they've been a little bit circulated in the past. Some of them come under a glass uh, under a plastic kit. They're in a plastic container. It's it, you can't break it. If you break it, it's it's ruined. So you know it's been broken. So it comes in a plastic container. It has a hologram on it. Is that what you call it, a hologram? Yes, sir. Or that little thing that... It has a serial number and a barcode also from a third-party grading service which authenticates its value and veracity. And you Correct. can actually call that 1-800 number that's on this plastic case with this coin. It allows you to see both sides of the coin. Let's say it's a, let's say it's a $20 Liberty. You can call that 800 number on that plastic container. All you have to do is give them the serial number. They'll tell you, hey, you're holding a $20 Liberty. It's a 19, you know, 31, and uh, it's uh, rated at uh, MS62. They'll tell you everything about the coin. You didn't tell them anything. You just gave them a serial number. They'll turn around and tell you what it is you're holding. That's because it's been certified by one of the th big three. Now, that's when you buy it like that. Otherwise, you can buy, and why would you buy Newsmatic? Well, first of all, there's, you make money on the spot price when the price of gold goes up. You're also making money on the rarity of the coin. Now, why would someone want the rarity of the coin? Because it is valuable as an antique, but it's also not reportable. The government does not, they're not required, Swiss America is not required to tell the government what you've purchased. So you have privacy. It also has not been confiscated historically. Uh, uh, so it's because it's collectible. So these are reasons, safety, security, privacy, but when the price of gold goes up, spot price, then it also adds a premium that goes up with the rareness of the coin. So you can make money on two ways, although we're not really looking at make money, you're not really making money, you're just having your investment go up because of what's happening with the dollar. The other thing is true too. When precious metals go down, this goes down slower. The newsmatics go down slower, giving you a chance to move out should you want to do that. Now, you can also buy newsmatic that come in little tubes. They're older, 
Newsmatic collectibles, but they're not in the plastic containers because they're in tubes. And why is it they're not in tubes? Because they're not rated high enough to mess with putting it in a plastic container, Mike? They're circulated and loose. Right now, the smarter move is to buy the better product. When you could buy 64, 65, which is considered to be investment grade at the prices they are right now, you know, collectible coins are based on three different things. Number one, they are gold content, the one ounce of gold in it. Number two, they collect the population, which is called how many of them exist on the planet Earth, which we know. And then finally, how many of them are available to purchase? As the amount of them available to purchase gets narrower, their collectible value gains. So some of these coins and the better coins, which does cost more initially, gain significantly. At $2,000 gold, like right now, some of these coins that gold is like $300 off of its high, these coins will gain $1,000 because they don't make them anymore and they become very, very highly, highly sought after. Uh, you know, that's the big factor on some of the better product when you get your hands on it. It's like buying a fine bottle of wine for the price of a cheap bottle of wine right now. So it's a very, very good idea. Uh, additionally, the big reason for buying the collectibles is one word that doesn't exist in this country anymore. We have watched the President of the United States, we have watched U.S. citizens serving this nation. We watched a U.S. three-star general who put his life on the line, fought for this country for over 30 years, served the nation, served the people, be brutalized by the system, losing all of his privacy. We've watched other people of this of this administration be gone after for doing nothing more than wanting to serve an administration. We look at none of us have liked some of the presidents that have been presidents of this nation. I haven't, but I most assuredly haven't called their family dirty names, and I haven't conspired with other people in this government to overthrow them by using government auspices like the CIA and the FBI as a means of doing that. And we, we watched that privacy being taken away from this people, the president, people who are in, in, uh, in positions of power in this nation, only being brutalized for their, pri for their political beliefs, and also we're finding religious beliefs. What does that mean to you and I for privacy right now? What does that give us a warm and cuddly feeling about for privacy right now? Nothing. The privacy factor with collectible gold is severe. You know, if it was Brandon 20 years ago, I wouldn't even be talking that much about privacy. I could care less, quite honestly. Probably 10% of my business was done with people that were considering concerned about privacy. Now, 98% or more of my business is concerned with people who want to just go after one simple thing that the ladies and gentlemen threw the T over the side of the boat for in 81776, and that's privacy, taxation without representation. And that's exactly why collectible gold is important, because it affords you that word of privacy, where if you came into my office right now and you sold me 25 Krugerons worth $40,000, I need your Social Security number. I need to report that transaction in accordance to the law with the IRS this evening. I need to send that information and fax it over to them tonight. Now, if you came in there, Brandon, with a thousand of the old MS-64 Liberties, which are worth a two hundred and a half, two hundred, two million and two hundred thousand, or two million three hundred thousand, right now, I'll give you a check for two million two hundred thousand, and I'll give you a bottle of water. It's ninety-seven degrees here today. Have a nice day. That reporting is between you, God, and the IRS, not us. Where can you do that? Where can you go out and literally walk out with that kind of a check without having to give your blood type, let alone for 5,000 or 10,000 or 3,000? Seriously, that's the benefit of owning collectible gold right now. We're dealing in a society where that issue is so important. And again, if, if you're trying to understand the difference between the bullion, freshly minted gold or silver, uh, or the Newsmatic. This again is why you need to get the information and you can then have a diversified portfolio. Perhaps you want to diversify your portfolio with a little fresh bullion uh, in case you felt like you needed to barter with something. Uh, but most of this folks is going to be about holding what you have 
through hard times, letting it wash out so when it's over, you have your wealth still, at least a percentage of it. Then you could cash out, take the check, and uh, put it in the bank and whatever kind of new currency they have, and you go on with life. This is simply a place to store some of your wealth, your savings, so it's sheltered, out of the way, private, so when the financial storm really happens, then it all washes away, they've reset everything, the sun comes back out, you take your precious metals, you could cash them in, Swiss America has not missed a buyback in what, 40 years, you get a check, put it in the bank, and go on with whatever the new currency is, versus other people who may lose 40, 50% uh, with uh, negative interest rates or who knows what. Correct. This is how this is. This is how it would work in the real world. Correct. Absolutely. It's working right now. That's exactly what's happened. This is not rocket science. It's going on outside the country. Uh, people would be telling you right now that in America, uh, two months, three months ago, if somebody would have said to you, you'd be walking around in America, right, watching a bunch of people with masks on, and seeing them sitting back and listening to some genius who was elected to office in Pennsylvania just because he had a good advisory board to get him elected, telling you when you could walk, talk, and chew gum, you would have told them they're insane. And look at people right now, but the problem that they're finding, Brandon, is America was, has got 250 years of, 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 uh, of uh, freedom. I don't like the idea of somebody telling me I don't have a right to go watch a baseball game anymore and that it's gonna change in the future, baloney. It's not going to change. People are going to get back what they want, and if someday it might turn out to be a fight for the nation if they get too crazy. Well, again, folks, I know a lot of people are nervous about precious metals. It seems very confusing to them, but reality is it's very simple. It's really, really very basic, very simple. You just need to learn what a few words mean. What, are, what is the uh, MS-62, MS-63 rating? What does Newsmatic mean? Once you learn a few basic definitions, it's very, very basic, very simple. Frankly, it's a lot easier than understanding where your IRA is invested. It's a lot easier than understanding derivatives. It's a lot easier than understanding the stock market and plunge protection teams and, and the phony baloneyness going on within the financial market. Uh, this is, uh, gold and silver is something that has no liability against it. There's no debt against it. It is a free agent and you're in control. And that's the bottom line. It's about liberty and freedom and privacy and independence. Now, again, this is my financial opinion. You go do what you want, but trust me, your financial planners and advisors are gonna tell you all the reasons this is stupid to do. But again, understand what their motivation is, as well as the fact they haven't been educated in it. Most of them, unlike myself, haven't dealt with this personally since 1993 and dealt with it and moved in, moved out, cashed out, bought another position, as I've done for years. Michael's been doing this forever. So again, you're gonna get a, a pushback from some of your financial planners, but reality is, are you gonna be controlled by them? Are you gonna be controlled by the establishment? Are you gonna be controlled by the system? Or are you gonna be independent outside the system and have some liberty and freedom and control over your own future? Or are you gonna be locked in and locked down trying to figure out how to get a hold of your money. That's the bottom line. So the number to call to get the free information, be sure to ask for Wes Peters or Michael Weiner at 602-485-3362, 602-485-3362. Look, this is not for everybody, as I've already said. If you don't have the stomach for it, don't do it, but neither then should you be in the stock market, I don't think. If you understand what it is you're doing, why you're doing it, and for the long term, and you're not sitting there watching the price every day, if you understand what you're doing, you just put it away and forget about it and pray you never need it. Pray that it ends up being passed on to your kids and grandkids uh, in your estate. Because if you do need this, that means that probably about 90% of your rest of your portfolio has gone to pot. Correct, Michael? Absolutely. And you know, there's a thing in life called acting versus reacting. And to me, you know, it's a very simple thing. What do you own in your portfolio? The beauty about gold is prior to 1971, you didn't need to own it, you already did. You had it in your wallet every day. You had it in your bank account every day. Every dime you had, if you knocked on the door at the Treasury Department with a $100 bill, they had to give you $100 in gold and silver. There was nothing to learn, you had it. Now, if you knock on the door at the Treasury Department, they have little windows like a bank there at the main building. 
They're going to give you a newspaper and port you to the picnic bench. You've got nothing coming. It's a promissory note. But realize the fact that right now things are happening in this nation. We're going to be reopening this nation soon. God, you know, hopefully if we do not, we're foolish. But when it does reopen, it's going to be a battle for the nation. And you can either plan ahead and start protecting your portfolio. Gold is like an anchor. You've got a cruise ship that weighs thousands, tens of thousands of tons. And you've got a two-ton two anchor at the end. When they want to stabilize that boat, they don't do anything other than drop anchor. And that anchor stabilizes and holds the boat in place. And that's what gold is. It's an integral part of your portfolio. It's not the whole part. It's the anchor. And if you fail to have it there, if you fail to plan ahead, you're going to pay more and get less. What do I mean by that? Your U.S. dollar is being worth less. It's going to be devalued. Devalue is not spending power. It's when somebody walks up to you and says, hey, you got a dollar bill. Here's 50 cents. And at the end of the day, it doesn't come back. You're going to turn around and need to buy gold, and you're going to get less gold and pay more for it, and you're going to have less money. So the smart thing is to do it when people are not paying attention. Plan ahead. Intelligently call up Wes and I and let us sit down and make some suggestions. You can do whatever you want to do. The beauty with us, if you work properly, is that we have no reporting on your transaction. We can maintain your privacy. You, the only one who's going to talk about your business is you. But you got to think think about it, and I'll leave you with this thought. What do you own right now that you don't have to go to somebody and ask them to give it to you? If it's a bank, if it's a stock account, if it's your financial planner, and please, I cannot tell you, I know Wes agrees with me and Brandon agrees with me, that you can go to your financial – people will say, I don't want to upset my financial planner. Excuse me. Who loses money when your account goes down? You or your financial planner? Who is at risk in their future? You or your financial planner? They still get paid. They'll feel bad you lost money, but they still got a check. You're the one who has lost a percentage of what you've worked for your entire life and might never come back. So be independent and ma maintain your independence by maintaining protection and security. And that's what we try to do by acting, planning ahead, not waiting till the fire started, planning ahead to make sure you've got the sprinklers there to put it out. Well, Nancy Pelosi is talking about another stimulus now as we're recording here on what? What's the date today? May 13th today? 14th. 14th. So she's talking about another stimulus bill of three trillion with a t three trillion dollars added the only to the, i'm sorry go ahead added to the two trillion they've already done plus all the other billions and billions they've pumped into the market that people aren't thinking about we're talking about what adding they're, they're talking about adding over five or six trillion dollars to the debt right not only are they talking about it but the only difference between this the stimulus bill that nancy pelosi talks about and what it really is it's just the letter S. It's not a stimulus bill. It's a socialist takeover. They are looking to sit back and put in green power, get rid of oil, oil, get rid of fracking, get rid of cars, get rid of airplanes. He put in, they're talking about legitimately a socialization and progressive situation of America. It has nothing to do with stimulus. It has to do with socialist takeover of the nation. It is it's insulting. It's scary if you, you know, the problem with America is so many people just turn on the TV and go, Nancy Pelosi just said that she's going to protect us and she's going to give us money. She's not giving, she's taking. She's throwing out a little carrot and grabbing the cake. And if you do not sit back and take a moment to read it, I suggest you do it on an empty stomach because it's scary. It'll get you sick. Well, it see, shows who they are, literally. John Maynard Keynes said, of Keynesian economics, a Fabian socialist. We can steal the majority of the people's wealth through a continuous process of inflation, confiscating the majority of the people's wealth, and not one man in a million will know what we are doing. And the antidote to the virus of Keynesian economics is real money, not a fiat currency, real money, precious metals. That's a fact. You can't prove it wrong. It is fact. Go do your own due diligence and you'll know that. So if you're looking for the antidote to this virus of socialism, 
Keynesian economics, quantitative, quantitative easing, inflation, monetization of the debt. What are you going to call it? The antidote is to be outside the system in a hard asset that they cannot manipulate because the only way to put more is to go mine for it. And that is gold and silver. So again, the number to call for the free information, and then we're going to sign off, is 602-485-3362. 602-485-3362. Be sure to ask for Wes Peters or Michael Weiner. Now again, we do not give financial advice. We give financial opinion. We do this program as a service of education to you. A lot of you ask these questions. You want to know these questions. You're trying to understand this. Many of you have never showed an interest in this ever before, but now you are because you see what's coming. That's my final question. How many of the people you're talking to, Mike, are first time purchasers of gold and silver? Probably about 50% right now to 60% of the people. They're awakening to the fact of what's going on around them. They're seeing their freedom crumbling and they're really, real, real, realizing the fact that the people that have told them that they're safe and secure either don't answer the phone or don't want to give them the ability to fully understand it, their only comment is, is don't worry about it, it's going to come back. What if it doesn't? And what they're finding out is by being at home right now, that guy whose wife might be a Democrat sitting at home or the husband might be a Democrat sitting at home, and all of a sudden they're at home and they're looking at the news and they're not just seeing it for five minutes. They're actually sitting there and listening to it and say, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. What are they doing here? And that's exactly why we're getting all these calls right now. And my opinion is, you know, some people will call back and say, well, wait a minute, like a lady told me yesterday, I'm, I'm going to go talk to my financial guy. Hmm. I said, good luck with that, because he's going to tell you, you can't have your financial freedom. Don't You don't need to talk to them. Well, what do we do different than him? You send him money, he sends you a piece of paper and tells you don't worry about it. You send us money, we send you physical gold. You don't need us anymore. You have got, you are controlling your ship. We're not. So who's actually doing better one way or the other? Hmm. All right, Mike, keep monitoring what's going on. We'll look forward to do it, another one of these in a couple of weeks as uh, things are moving very, very quickly. And uh, we'll just keep trying to provide the public with the information they're wanting, the financial education that we're seeking to give them. So again, folks, I hope you'll call the number, ask for Wes Peters or uh, Michael Weiner, and uh, we'll just roll forward from here. So Mike, thanks for being with us. Thanks for all the new information you provided. Thank you for having me, Brandon. It's always a pleasure, and we look forward to being with you again, hopefully. All right. Here's been another WVW Broadcast Network economic update. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing with your friends. Till next time, I'm Brandon House. Take care.